All right, so what's up everyone? In this video, we are going to be creating a proxy preset for Premiere Pro. Now, the tool that we use in order to create proxy files is Media Encoder. If we go over to Proxy and Create Proxies, we are presented with this menu. Here we can choose between H264 or QuickTime. So if we click either one of those, we get these built-in presets but we want to be able to create our own proxy in order to do that let's go to media encoder now very important the versions of Premiere Pro and media encoder must be the same uh, to work uh, seamlessly so the first thing that we need to do is create an encoding preset so in this menu uh, we'll change the name just a little bit later, but first let's make sure that we selected QuickTime and let's just come down a little bit and select video and uh, let's also select one of the preset. So let's choose this one and here let's choose GoPro Cineform and let's change the quality all the way to one and also let's change the size of the video so let's say that we want 1280 and just like so all right so now let's switch back to F effects and we can of course apply some image as a watermark but we can also apply a text so let's go with the text and let's say that we want to apply a text to the to the image so that at a glance we know on which file we're working whether it's a it's a proxy file or it's an original file so let's move this uh, let's align this text to the bottom right hand corner and this looks well so let's confirm and this is literally what we get so I forgot to rename this one so let's say preset I'll just pause the video so I basically named it I gave it a more descriptive name so let's now create ingest preset so inside this box what we need to do is create well basically all we have to do is enable transcode files to destination so it doesn't really matter where we transcode these files because for each project for each folder they are going to be located right next to that folder alright so make sure that you select QuickTime here and make sure in the preset tab that we select the previous encoding preset that we, we just created earlier alright so and everything else looks good so let's confirm and by the way let's give this also a name a more descriptive name that I just gave the, to this encoding preset so I'll pause the video again alright so I almost gave it the same name uh, instead of encoding I just specified ingesting so let's click on OK oh I almost forgot so let's specify any directory even desktop as I've said for each file folder it's going to be different so let's select the QuickTime again and quickly the the previous encoding preset that we've just created earlier okay so we're almost ready okay so now we can see the in order to see the destination folder of this ingest preset we just right click and click on reveal preset file in finder if you were using Mac or Explorer if you were using Windows so this is where it's located uh, the location is important because whenever you try to create proxy files using Adobe Premiere Pro this is the location that you have to choose in order to use your proxy file so let's do that alright so back to Premiere Pro let's say that we want to create the proxy file as an example I have just one video here if you're working on a large project you might have uh, several folders inside each uh, different footages 
So in order to create a proxy file, let's right click and go to proxy, create proxy and let's add the ingest preset that we've just created using media encoder. So let's add that. I moved it in my desktop. So let's select and confirm. What it's now going to do is open up the media encoder and create that proxy file. As you can see, how cool is that? All right, back to Premiere Pro. If we try to use this clip, we'll now be will now be able to use the proxy file so let's also enable the proxy feature so let's say that we want to use this proxy file for this particular clip now you can see that we're using the proxy file that we've just created how cool is that so that was it guys thanks for watching now just for the comparison if we take a look at the original the size of the original file and the size of the proxy file we can definitely see the difference as you can see it's 10 megabytes we could make it even lower if we wanted so that was it guys thanks for watching this video i hope this you found it useful and subscribe to this channel put something in the comment section so i you know so i know that it helped you so thanks for watching see you next time